Forex. Stocks. Futures. Trade Miner 5.0 Picks of the Week. Hey Forex Militia, this is Parcival and we've got the trade minor picks of the week. We've got Forex stocks and futures and we're starting off with Forex. We have a bullish uh, British pound Canadian dollar and that is uh, seven years with an 86% win rate. All right, next we've got Nike, a bullish Nike, 22 years with an 81% win rate and a medium probability. Okay. Next is futures, and we have a bullish uh, uh, Japanese yen, September, uh, 11 years, and it has an 82% win rate with a probability of very low. All right, let's go ahead and go to the charts and see what that looks like on the charts. So first is the, uh, the pound CAD, which is bullish, and basically uh, it it is it, it looks like a very low chance because it looks like the the pound CAD is in a decline. Uh, you can see um, my strategy uh, tester looking very uh, negative. Let me see. Let me see if it looks better with. Uh, no, it doesn't look any better with my other strategy. But we basically have this looking bearish, and uh, so I don't believe that that's going to go well. So let's go to Nike and uh, something. No, something didn't didn't come through right okay on Nike we basically have this going long and we have my strategy tester looking pretty good 65% All right. we've got this going long so if we get a long signal I don't think where, where it's at it, it looks very very bearish so uh, we'll see if uh, that trade actually comes out right that's that's in the future All right that's uh, on the 11 all right, and then on futures, we have this, the yen, and that is bearish, and it's very possible that this is definitely going to come off because of what's going on with the, with the dollar. Uh, people are basically coming out of the yen. Um, so it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see what happens within the next two weeks if if that actually uh, ends up being successful, especially with the large sample of data that Trade Miner has taken about 11 years, I believe it was. So we'll see what happens. All right. So that's the those are the picks, and now let's get on to let's get on to the review. All right. So we've we've we're going back about a week. So this here is the Dow Jones futures, and it's about to to move right into there, looking long. Now I don't know it, it's I don't know what's going to happen because when I looked at when I looked at the charts on this, there's a wedge. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to continue. I think it might actually hit hit the top of the wedge. And actually come back but so far this is a very strong trend uh, counter trend that's that's in play so we'll see what happens there okay on the pound uh, on the euro pound this is looking very good uh, even though this is above the the, the, the 250 uh, this is looking very good and I am hopeful that this trade will come off lovely. All right? 
and then the I it was INTC and I believe that I took that trade someplace else but okay and the trade for the uh, for an Intel is looking pretty decent and that is going long uh, it's basically counter trending counter trending is coming back uh, uh, and it, it is coming back basically based on some uh, uh, divergence so there we go and so that those are the picks and the review of some of the trades that I basically took see HON HON is up there that's that's, that's Honeywell and then UNH UNH is also doing good right there way up into there which is good okay and so with that I will say knowledge is power be power hungry and power to the people this is Parcival signing out <laughs>